Hello everyone, Rurikon here coming at you with another episode of Lords of the Fallen. We're going to be continuing with our Harkin playthrough with the Scythe and all that other good stuff. I haven't played Lords of the Fallen in quite some time as I've mentioned to you guys in the previous video uh, that I made. I have been quite busy the past couple of days and I do know that essentially what I have to do now is reach the planetarium. However, to be completely honest, I don't really know where I need to go for that. Oh, it's actually here. Sweet. It was actually here all along. <laughs> okay. So, um, in the last episode, if you guys remember, we came, uh, we destroyed... Did we destroy lords on the last episode? Well, we destroyed a couple of Rogar on the path uh, to the top of the tower. And that was where Antares was. Antares? That's his name, I think. And uh, apparently he didn't care to speak with us at all. So, he's a scumbag. Uh, I don't like the guy one bit. Not one bit. And, um, yeah, essentially they told us, oh, you need to go to the planetarium, clear it out of more Rogar. It's like, you just killed all of these Rogar, but you need to kill more. Chest is locked. Chest is locked. This is great. Hopefully they'll give me the keys to these chests later on. But I can already see there's a couple of Rogar here. Let's start off with this dude. Let's see if I can remember how to actually play the game. Oh, yeah, we need Quake. That's what we were using last time around. Come on, come at me, bro. Let's go. Have at you! What the hell happened there? He didn't take any damage at all, what the fuck? No, dude, that's not the way it goes down. You will eat this friggin' hammer to the face, I'm telling you right now. Look at him! Huh, I wonder if they patched the game or something, prevented that from being as effective as it was. Okay, there's definitely something really wrong going on here. I am not dealing a tenth of the damage that I was dealing last time, which is a good thing because things were being way too easy last time around. No, it still works. It still works. I just wasn't hitting because of lack of practice. It still works just fine. You go up to them, you smash them in the face, and they enjoy every second of it. Here you go, Mr. Archerman. Goodbye. I can't believe the bastard still set me on fire. How dare you? We do have another chest here. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> Harmony Buckler. Oh, man. This this should uh, work with my set. It should look great with my sense, the set. The thing is, I have Stance of the Kite Shield, and I'm not sure if it's going to be better. Whoa, it's got three sockets. It blocks 100%. It doesn't have... <laughs> it's got one-fourth of the poise, though. Which kind of sucks. Uh, however, it doesn't even have better resistances. It just got more fire resist. But apart from that, eh, eh. it definitely looks good with the set. I'll give it that much. But I ain't switching. I ain't switching. I mean, sure, you can upgrade it though. You can upgrade the crap out of the stance shield. But I, I still don't know if it will become better than my stance. Uh, the stance. You can upgrade the crap out of the harmony shield. I still don't know if it will become better than my. Stance shield. So something that I was thinking right now was how, oh, I should probably Eagle Vision here because I played quite a bit of Assassin's Creed Unity uh, in the past couple of days. for Mostly for work purposes, but also because I, I, I do enjoy AC Unity a, li a little bit. Anyways, I guess I'm supposed to eventually use this, um, that little ledge there. Ledge. Stepping stone, I've, I, I... Damn, sometimes I just forget words and it pisses me off so much. Pressure play. That's what I was going for. Hello. Hello, sir. You have failed to attack me. And you've also opened yourself up to a backstab, which means you get to die. Hey, yo. What's happening here? I barely see him on account of all the lighting effects. Okay, you are being very annoying. You you care to stand still for just a couple of seconds so that I can smack you? That's it. Atta boy. Aww. I know what you're trying to do there, but you are annoying me a great deal. So you need to just take a little bit extra damage and die. That will make me very happy. So what the hell happened here? Some kind of a comet broke through and blasted this thing? And we still need to find out what that pressure plate triggers. Because it definitely triggers something. 
Can't break this wall. However, I do not know what it triggers. Let's just leave prayer here. I was wondering if maybe this unlocks the chests. Nope. Is this a chest right here? No. Just getting completely and utterly distracted. Whoa! Not you, my friend. Not you. Oh, crap! They came from behind! I don't appreciate that at all, good sir. I do not appreciate that. Here you go. Here's my reply to what you have to say. Now, we need to go back. No, actually, we don't need to go back. I'm gonna ram this guy. No. I think the quake doesn't deal that much damage on these dudes, though. Pretty sure of that. Let's see if it is or not. Yep, 72 damage, just like I thought. Kind of sucks. Uh, I do believe that Ram still... Nope. This has to be the best thing. However, he seems to have glitched himself over there, so... I don't know. Just get wrecked. As long as we don't get affected by his little life leech thing, we should be fine. Dodge back. Still got hit. God damn. Lots of damage, too. Let's see. Okay, square to drink. These chests are still locked, which kind of sucks. All of them are locked. What's up with that? Can probably open this door. Oh, we can go up the staircase. This takes us up to the planetarium. I'm still thinking about that friggin' pressure plate and what it actually does. Let's open this. It's locked. Okay. The pressure plate might open this door, but I'm not sure. Switch to prayer. We'll just cast prayer on top of that. So. Like so. That should keep it in check there. Run up to the door. And hopefully, that's what it opens. Yep, it is. There we go. We've gotten ourselves a chest. What have you got for us there, chest? Blessing. Armor medium. Okay, you guys know that basically for my character, I've been using medium armor, so let's hope that blessing is better than what we've got. 22 medium armor. Yep, it looks like it will be better. However, it doesn't, does it have a socket? It still has a socket too. And it just got more defense, less poise. Also more weight. Oh, but it looks so badass. Look at that. It looks more in line with the cleric armor we had at the start, so yeah. Yep. Just on the account of badassness, we will have to take that into consideration. So armor 90, armor 78. Uh, I would like to see, however, my global... My global poise. That would be something very interesting to see. Where's our global poise? Poise, 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 22. And if we switch... If we switch around to Armony, our global poise is now 14. What? Okay. I thought it had less poise. I guess it's only the headpiece. I thought all of the pieces would follow suit, but I guess not. So here we have 9 poise on the chest piece, and we have 4 poise on the chest piece of Harmony. So that's interesting. So it's essentially better in every single aspect, I think. Right? Well, the resistances are very much the same, but apart from that, it's pretty much better in every single aspect. Okay, let us continue. That was actually really good that we were able to open that. Now this thing's going to be locked and I'm going to be stuck here. There's got to be a lever somewhere. Or maybe not. Ah, damn, these levers are so well hidden, though. They're like, I mean, sure, it's right in the middle of the wall, but you can barely see it. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, we need to go back up. I do like our new armor. It looks so badass. Okay, so we got one of the big boys up there. What we're going to do is we're going to just quake his ass down. Come on, you bastard. Want some of this? Here you go. 
I'll get rich. Oh, I guess you didn't like that. You didn't like that, did ya? Oh, gotta dodge that because that thing actually deals a ton of damage. Here you go. Bust you down, son. Oh, look at him. He's upset. You're breaking down your armor and shit. This is a really tight squeeze to fight in, though. Dodge that. Smack him. Smack him dead! Engage! That frame lag when I start this particular attack, though, gets me every time. Well done, Harkin. Antanas is here, and he wants to speak to you. Harkin, Kazlo tells me you've been victorious against the Rogar Lords. It is a feat my own men have not managed. If your men were better at their duty, I wouldn't be here doing their job. You do not understand the true nature of our enemy. This war has been waged for far too long at far too great a cost. My people are suffering. I cannot protect them as long as I'm trapped in this godforsaken place. Why are the Rogar attacking in the first place? A deer intends to destroy me. I represent everything he fears. What could a god fear? I pull demons from the hearts of men, Harkin. I undo a deer's work right before his eyes. This awoke his fury. And now he's returned. Antanus has learned how to separate evil spirits from men. He can free them from their dark side. This angers Adir. You can see how cruel he really is. If Adir is victorious, we will all live under his rule. I am the people's guardian. I am the only thing standing between them and Adir. And I will fight this battle until I no longer draw breath. The tide has turned in our favor. Battles have been won, but the war yet wages, Harkin. We should move you to a safer location. No, Harkin. Antanus is the one the Rogar seek. They will hunt him down no matter where he goes. But we have a plan. One that will bring the battle directly to our true enemy. You mean the Rogar? No, Harkin. I mean the god. Show me little favor on the day you sentenced me to my prison cell. Yet here we stand, you demanding favor from me. That was a long time ago, Harkin. The crimes committed were yours, Harkin, as was the punishment you earned as a result. And now you need my help. Why should I bother? Why should I care? If Adir prevails, he will change the shape of this world. I do not turn a blind eye to your sins. Your violent nature fuels the flames of this battle. But in a world set ablaze by madness and despair, I will fight fire with fire. It's not every day I get to kill a god. Indeed. How am I supposed to do that? You must return to the Rogar realm. Once there, Kill the remaining Rogar lords. Once they are gone, Adir will have no choice but to enter the fight himself. And when he does, you finish him. Why has Adir held back? He's a god. His lords have been his proxies in this war. Once you've destroyed them, Adir will have no choice but to step onto the battlefield. In that moment, Run your blade through his foul heart and end his existence. I understand. Not all of the lords are in the temple, Harkin. Some of them might be staying closer to the god. You will need this to access the heart of the Rogar realm, the Chamber of Lies. Your gauntlet will be able to open the path inside the Chamber of Lies, if you allow me to prepare it. Luck in battle, Harkin. If we meet again, it will be to celebrate your victory. Harkin, before you go... Yes? There's something strange going on here. I don't know what exactly, but I intend to find out. 
No wonder you would say there's something strange going on here. If you guys remember on the previous episodes, we had a guard who was getting like... He was just saying, oh my god, he's gone mad, he's killing us, he's like torturing us and shit to get the evil out of us. So yeah, your methods, Mr. Antanas, are highly, highly questionable. I don't really think you have the people's best interest at heart. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I really just don't know. Now, something that I would very much like would be to open these bad boys, but no, they're all locked. So I don't get to access these. Maybe these are in New Game Plus or something? I don't know, but theoretically, you should be able to access all of them. What's this thing? I didn't notice this thing. First time I came here. But I guess that now we will have to go back from where we came to the Rogar Realm and just beat the crap out of everybody there. Oh, hello. Were you? Thank you for getting me out of that cell instead of that pathetic wimp. Oh. It's one of those, uh, monks. Thank you for getting me out of that cell instead of that pathetic wimp. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but... I mean, I know what, it, what he's saying means, I'm just saying I'm not exactly sure what that means in terms of the progression of the game, the fact that I saved you instead of the pathetic wimp. Now, I am curious... Am I forgetting something? No, I think I've done everything that I was supposed to do here. Naturally, we weren't able to get access to those chests, which is, which is something that I might go back do to. It. Is it safe there? It should be safe there now. Thank you. I'll meet you there. You'll meet me where? I don't even remember what I did for him. I think I cleared the path somehow. Maybe it was in the planetarium or something. Maybe he's the one who unlocks the stuff. No. Thank you for getting me out of that cell instead Maybe of Maybe I'm supposed to go upstairs. Because there was another area that you had access to at the very top. Here. Would he be here? Guess not. Let's get our potions back while we're at the place. And I wonder if we go all the way to the end. No, wait. Uh, he wanted me to clear out the path to his laboratory on the outside. Now, I still don't know where his laboratory actually is, and there's no map. And since it's been a while since I played the game, I probably won't be so able to find true. the damn thing. Antanas is sending you back to the demon realm. Why do you care? Some traitorous men under my command fled through the passageway. If you find them on the other side, kill them with extreme prejudice. Their squad has a unique arm tattoo. That'd be the good proof to me that these bastards rot in hell. I have met them already. So, they're dead. Just gonna lie? What do I care about this guy? This guy's a scumbag. They were no match for me. Now where is my reward? Reward? Come on. Bring me the evidence first, then we can talk. Aww. Well, I guess I don't get the reward from this guy. There he is. I don't get the reward. So essentially, you wanted me to kill the two guys I saved, huh? Just it's, the moment you saw that beacon. It's 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 always nice to see, you know, good good old humanity just banding together in times of crises, just the eh? You saw that beacon. We lost some good men on our way here. Can I leave through here? Nope. Just the moment you saw that beacon. We lost some good men on our way here. Okay, I heard you guys already. You can shut the fuck up now. Main hall. Wait a second. I had a key to something in the main hall, didn't I? I had a key to the main hall chest. Or did I use it already? I can't remember. But I do know that I had the key to some special chest in the main hall. Why is that thing locked? Open. Why won't you open? That sucks. I wonder if there's... I could hear a noise somewhere. Was it maybe a portal? Just the moment you saw that beacon. We lost some good men on our way here. Just the moment you saw that beacon. We lost some good men on our way here. I can definitely hear something and I'm wondering where, where the hell it is. It's annoying me. But it's definitely down there. 
So it's got to be some passage that you Trust go through. The we saw that beacon. Yeah, hear that? Trust the moment we saw that beacon. We lost some good men on our way here. And good God, these guys just keep on talking. And all these that got killed when we finally arrived. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find the thing that I'm looking for. I just need to get going. It would be really cool if I could open this door. But I guess that's not a thing. Are there Rogar dudes throughout the way here? If there's a secret passage... Oh! Hello. Looks like I already opened this one, though. Hmm... Just trying to find secret passageways back into that other room, but... I'm probably missing something. Some kind of a key or whatever, or a lever that I'm supposed to push. Hey dude, how you doing? You seem pretty cool. So, there's nobody left. Are they gonna let me leave through here now? Magical energy with the gauntlet allows you to tear the barriers apart if they are made by a similar energy. So what you're saying is... Oops. So what you're saying is you want me to shoot this thing. Okay, and we can leave through here. I wonder where this takes us, though. Magical runes are not fully functional in their natural form. It takes an experienced rune crafter to unleash their true potential. And this takes us back to the Square of Heroes. Which is relatively close. Ooh. How are you doing? God damn, he's big. Look at him. Okay, we're definitely gonna need some prayer in here. And he's got some kind of an energy bar there. Next up, we're gonna need some quake. Okay, you're not gonna make things easy for me, are you, beast? Wow, nine damage? Oh, that's great. Okay, here you go. Let's try this. Twenty something damage? Okay, something tells me we're not doing it right. Should I be using maybe the gauntlet a little bit more? Okay, dude, you need to relax a little bit here because I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with you. Uh, let's see. Magic energy shard. I'm just getting confused here. Give me a second, guys, to get back into the swing of things. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Grenade launcher. Like that. Did that work at all? Didn't seem to do much. I think I kind of canceled it out with the roll, though. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Yeah, that's not really doing much. Then again, I'm not really hitting either. Can I switch targets? Because I seem to be aiming for one of his legs. It looks like that's the only thing I can target, though. Okay, things are definitely not working out. And it doesn't seem like he actually gives a damn about what I'm doing. Yeah, this guy is confusing me. And I don't even think he counts as a rule our lord, he's just... What the hell is that? Oh, I did rage. Not bad. Shouldn't have done rage. Should not have done rage at all. It was just a bad idea. However, it seems like I'm filling up that yellow bar, whatever that's me, whatever that means. Anyways, I didn't meant to do rage. I meant to do ram. Move out of the way there. Let's try ram. 199. Leg's about to go. Whatever the hell that's gonna do. 500. Wow. Okay. 
Wait, give me the quake. Sweet. Smash him. Smash him! Smash him in the face! Okay, so basically we're taking him down systematically. One piece at a time. Which is fine. I'm just gonna do quake on that other leg. I know what he's doing now though. Oh, snap, he's got poison. I don't want your poisonous bullshit, dude. Here you go. Have some quakeage. I love how I can roll while I'm doing quake. <laughs> That's pretty useful. I actually think I missed that last quake though, which kind of sucked. Move out of the way there. We can just ram the rest of that. There we go. And now we can quake his ass. Take that, you fiend! So what's next? The leg again? Are we just going to smack his leg into oblivion? Is that the point? Missed me. Oh no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. And we're back. Uh, yes, the game did crash again. I'm not sure what was up with that. I haven't had a crash in quite some time. So I thought I was kind of done with that stuff, but I guess not. Anyways, we kind of got the strategy of what we're supposed to do on this guy. So all I gotta do now is apply it. I mean, that is if I can just keep myself from getting smashed to bits by this huge bastard. So... We just gotta smack that leg. Damn, he's still hitting me with that. Look, dude, you need to cut that out. Wow. You are becoming quite annoying, and I need you to stop that. Okay, we're not gonna be hitting with the quake, so... I'm gonna have to switch things around. I'm just gonna ram that leg. Or maybe not. Or maybe I'll just die instead. That also sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Come on, stop messing about and get that leg. Okay, 66, now we're talking. God damn it, he's reaching a lot more than the last time, it seems. One more hit. Switch things over too quick. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, dude, that's quite enough. How about you stop that? Dude? Why won't that leg break? There we go. That's what I wanted. Seventy damage? That wasn't really that much. Hmm. Something tells me we're not dealing as much damage as we dealt last time. Also, something tells me I shouldn't have done that. That will work to our advantage, maybe. Oh no! Oof. Things are not really looking up for us right now. Come on, let's get that ram going. For some reason, it seems like Ram is clipping through him and not really hitting. And I'm not sure what that's about. Let's try that again. Yep, it is it's just clipping through without hitting. We've got some major hit detection problems on this guy right here. There we go. See, when things actually hit, things kind of make sense. There we go, 280 damage. That seems a lot better. You see, that is the problem that we were having with Quake, is that the hit detection doesn't seem to be working properly on this leg for some reason. Like, there we go again. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That kind of really sucks. Let's see if we... Oh, snap. And I just got slammed hard. Thank you. Move back. Heal up. 
prayer. Atta boy, that's it. Do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again now. Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm just gonna go for ram. If I can actually hit the friggin' thing, that is. See, this is one of those bosses that, to be really honest, I'm not enjoying as much because it seems like the boss is bugged somehow because I just dealt 300 damage all of a sudden and I don't know why. And now I've done 199 and I also don't know why when, when I hit him with Quake, nothing happens. Like, I don't know, maybe Ram is just more like, look, there's almost 700 damage. It just doesn't seem reasonable. Fine, I'll just do this then. It's, it's more damage than Quake. Like, I'll just sit here and cast Ram. There. I don't understand why Quake doesn't work, but it's whatever. I mean, look at this. Oh, the, this, this is good. Two, I guess. Okay, so after that last crash, I essentially came back to the fight. I was recording only the fight because I was kind of expecting it to keep crashing. So I was hoping to eventually just get the fight done and record it. However, it didn't crash again. I don't really know why it crashed the two first times. In case you guys are wondering, no, it is not related with the fact that I'm recording because I use a completely different computer to record to. So it has absolutely no effect whatsoever on the performance of the computer I'm playing in. So it seems that Lords of the Fallen still got a couple of glitches, but we killed it, and uh, I don't know what's up with this boss, to be completely honest, I did not like it. And the reason I did not like it is because the hitbox just seemed to be all over the place, like sometimes it would hit, sometimes it wouldn't hit, regardless of what spell I was using, like sometimes I would do a ram and it would do like friggin' almost 800 damage. Other times I would land a quake right on top of him and it would deal nothing. So I don't know what was up with that boss. It felt pretty damn glitchy to me. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be probably heading down to the pathway and see if we can go back into the Rogar realm and have a couple of words with um, those Rogar dudes on the other side. Just by having a couple of words, I mean beat the ever-living crap out of them. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Leave me all your comments and feedback in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hmm. <laughs>